How are you doing? Welcome to Kavita. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. <clears throat> so I started a new batch of coffee beans and it's been really good. Um, for the past couple of months. It hasn't been that great, but yeah, this is so good. All right, cheers. I remember one time my ex bought some coffee beans and we made coffee like that night. And that was one of my favorite cups of coffee that I've had because the beans were so fresh and it was made with the OXO pour over and it was just such a peaceful time and happy time of my past <laughs> that I remember with coffee. All right, cheers. All right, so I have a list of things that I want to talk about um, and it's here. Uh, first, I wanted to talk about Hydro Massager um, at Planet Fitness and then I wanted to talk about small upgrades of life which is my heating pad and then I want to talk about kind of what I've been doing which is like waitressing and so if you're interested in that um, keep watching. Let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to talk about was the Hydro Massager at Planet Fitness. So I recently joined the gym a couple of weeks ago because I wanted to start working out again. And I kind of struggled with joining gyms. Like I enjoy going to the gym, but sometimes um, the parking isn't great. For example, I went to LA Fitness where I live and I live in LA where, you know, parking is a little crazy. And I couldn't really find parking really easily and it became like a source of uh, hardship or stress. So I stopped going to LA Fitness. And then so I decided to go to Planet Fitness because I've been to the Planet Fitness in Illinois and I really liked that one. And so I joined um, the basic membership for $10. And then um, my mom has been needing help at work. And so I've been helping out at their restaurant by waitressing. And um, so I help out on Thursday, sometimes Thursday, but every Friday and every Saturday. And so after um, last Saturday, I was really sore because the restaurant was really busy on Friday and I was just, I couldn't like catch up, you know. And so I decided to go to the gym um, and try the hydro massager. And I upgraded. Um, it took like five minutes to upgrade. I don't need. I didn't need it in my ID or my credit card. And um, what you have to do is you have to sign up for the hydro massager. And in LA, it's only for five minutes at a time, which is the downside. So every five minutes I had to like get up and renew the massager or tell the people up front um, that I want to do another five minutes. <laughs> and so um, I really enjoyed doing the hydro massager of course. Like it's a bed where like there's like water underneath and it's warm water and it like shoots up and it's like massages your entire body. And you can choose like to focus on your legs, or your back, or your shoulders. But you can't choose exactly where the hydro massager is, um, because I really wanted to do that. Because like I would focus only on my feet, because sometimes my feet get sore. So that's something that I found out that I've been loving. And I went to the Planet Fitness um, in another city and it's a new Planet Fitness and they have the massage chairs and it's like the full like body friend massage chairs that they sell in Korea 
like you can put your hand inside and like it like squeezes you know and there's like kneading in the back it's just wonderful <laughs> and it's also only for five minutes so I am planning on going to that Planet Fitness whenever I'm in that town which I go there pretty much almost Monday through Friday every single day but I've been going there less often because I've been so busy at work but whenever I'm there, I'm going to go with my mom. All right, cheers. So with the black card membership, I thought that I can bring one member in to the massager, but actually the membership is only good for like using the machines. Like the, the guest cannot use like the extra perks. You know what I mean? Like the hydro massager, the massage chairs, they also have like a red light therapy, which I'm going to look into. It's like a, it looks like a tanning bed, like a standing tanning bed. I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that because I know red light therapy is like good for developing collagen, but how does it work if you're like fully dressed? You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, yeah. All right. The massage chairs at the other Planet Fitness, um, the one that's like closer to where I live, is just a typical massage chair. Like you don't, it doesn't have like the hand squeezing thing and um, you can't like, it doesn't um, engulf you, you know. The body friend is like a massage chair where you're like, you go in and you kind of sink in. But the one where I live, it doesn't, you can't really like sink in, so. All right, um, one thing that I wanted to share with you is a small upgrade. <laughs> so I've been using my uh, tower heater or heating, yeah, it's a tower heater. And I use that probably like four or five hours in a day. Um, I use it like all day while I'm working at home. And my feet, always get cold so I'm usually like um, putting my feet or my legs onto the um, heating tower and I recently bought a heating pad that I'm going to share with you right here I got it from CVS and it's one by two feet long it works super fast it heats up in like 30 seconds and there's a three hour timer, but you can do as little as like 30 minutes if you wanted to. And this was originally $44, but I had a coupon for 30% off because I was picking up my mom's medication. You always have to check their coupons. And so I got it for 30, it's $34 after tax. And it's also FSA approved and you know that because it has that little thing at the bottom of the receipt and FSA is something that I started this year and it's only February and I'm almost done using up all of my funds so next year I'm gonna put a little bit more I think this year it, it just took up a lot or I spent a lot because I had to get more dental treatments and so I had to spend like $500 on that and so if I didn't have that then I would I would have spent that money on like contacts or sunglasses my eyes got worse um, so I've had to upgrade my glasses and it's super easy I just needed to upgrade my lenses and I did it at um, Jin's which is a Japanese glasses store in LA. But I think you can buy it online. And they focus on like frames that are suitable for like Asian, like more wider faces. And so I really like um, that place. They have really cool, um, cool? <laughs> they have cool, they have great uh, lenses. And not lenses, um, frames. They also have good lenses too. And it costs like $90 to get your lenses um, upgraded. All right, cheers. 
you know, I'm here to talk about like the randomest things that just come up in my life. I think adult life, being an adult is so hard. Like there's so many things that I needed to figure out um, with the help of my parents, of course, but like having to figure out like car insurance, taxes, glasses, health insurance, you know, all those like things that are so difficult, I feel like in my life. Like I still haven't really figured out healthcare. Like I've been postponing that. Um, I mean, I've gotten my annuals, but actually this is something I've been wanting to talk about, but I wasn't sure whether I want to talk about it because it's kind of a private and sensitive topic, but um, I want to talk about like potentially doing something with my eggs, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, so I'm like, I'm 34 and I'm nearly single and I'm looking for a mate, but it's pretty difficult firstly because, um, we all have standards of course, and my standards are a little high mainly because I've been in several long-term relationships and Every single time I get out of a relationship, um, I add like another big thing to my, like, to my list. So yeah, it's been difficult to date, especially in LA. It's hard to date because, uh, first, even though LA is like a big city, if someone lives like near the beach, which I live like an hour away from the beach, it's going to be pretty tough because I want to be with someone who lives like maybe like 15, 20 minutes away from me so that I can do like more spontaneous things. Like I want to be able to like go for tacos like on a <laughs> Wednesday night or um, go to McDonald's, you know, like build those like small things that add up. Um, and I went on or I was dating someone in LA for a couple of months and we would see each other like every week but like it was kind of difficult because one of us had to drive like 45 minutes um to see each other and it's like 45 minutes each way you know like it's it's a lot I feel like so yeah dating is overall hard and it's really hard to even get past like the first conversation, I guess. Like a lot of times um, I will like start a conversation and then like the person won't ask any questions back. Like there was like no conversation going on. And so that's really difficult, right? Like if there's no effort at the very beginning, then there's going to be no effort later on, right? Or uh, that's what I'm guessing. But anyway, sorry. So going back to the heating pad, I forgot to mention, um, the heating pad is only 80 watts and my tower heater, my heater is 1500 watts. And I believe watts is per hour, which I didn't know. <laughs> Why am I finding out these things at 30s, in my 30s? But anyway, and I don't, um, and I, I don't really like look at the electricity bill or anything that closely, but I learned, I did the calculations, I learned that if I use the heating pad for eight hours a day for five days a week, um, I would spend about $4 on electricity but for the heating tower, I spend about 40, 74, $75. And that's a huge difference. <laughs> and I'm in like ultra saving mode right now. I'm trying to save like as much as I can for to buy a home, which I've mentioned in the past, but yeah, that's another like struggle that I've dealt with. Um, I recently found a home that 
was listed for like a hundred thousand less and that's only because that home needed like so much work <laughs> like it was livable like someone's living there right now and it's an old lady older lady and um the, the two bathrooms needed repairs the the kitchen needed like gutting the countertops needed gutting the cabinets needed to be redone I needed a new refrigerator I'm not really sure about the dishwasher because I didn't check the dishwasher the floors need to be done but the floors were going to have to be done like regardless of where I move and the whole painting needed to be redone so yeah there was just way too many things to <laughs> to do and for my first home I thought and my parents also thought that I was going to be like too much work so um yeah we had to let that one go and so I'm going to still keep looking but um I don't know if you know this but I feel like people know this only if you're looking for a home but the pre-approval letter, like with the interest rate and the amount that you can borrow, only lasts for three months at a time. And so mine is going to uh, expire in April 3rd. It's now February 25th. And so I have about a month. And like, trust me, a month is like, a really short time in the realtor realtor or the housing market world um, the realtor who I was speaking with who was selling the last home that I just talked about she was telling me that it took six months to get that house on the market and so yeah like six months goes by really fast and sometimes it takes a little while to get offers and um, to get the home like if after it's been, um, if your offer is accepted, it takes like a month or so to get everything sorted out and everything in escrow and things like that. I don't really fully know because I haven't really done the process yet. Um, but it's just a really difficult process. Um, a couple of things that I wanted to mention I look for in a home first is of course the location it does not matter if the house is like in pristine condition it just does not matter it does not matter if the yard is beautiful and like the garden of Eden or whatever it doesn't matter if the location is not safe it does not matter <laughs> because you're not gonna be able to sleep at night I remember um, in the last home that I lived at, it was in like not the best location and it was near the freeway. It was near a corner. It was on a corner lot. Um, it was near like trailer parks, which, you know, that's saying that like, it just means that there's a lot of people who drive motorcycles. <laughs> and, um, there were so many cars passing by and there were a lot of motorcycles that passed by every single day and it was just driving me a little nuts and so yeah the location is number one and one another thing in terms of location is I want to live close to my parents and by close I mean like five minutes five to ten minutes driving tap tops and especially in LA, like, I want to be able to, like, grab, like, breakfast with my parents. Because my parents are going to retire in the next, like, year or so. And, um, I want to be able to, like, grab coffee with them. I want them to come over and hang out. I want them to help me <laughs> fix things, you know, especially my dad. My dad is, like, so good at fixing things. Um, there's actually a, a, I forgot what it's called, it's, it's on, it's not every Saturday, but it's like once a month, and, um, 
they host like a free fixing, fixing session or whatever. People volunteer and they fix random things and people bring like lamps and toasters and microwaves or whatever needs to be fixed. And so I was like, dad, you need to volunteer for this. It's every Saturday, like once a month. Like he fixed my umbrella. So my umbrella was like, it was working, except the handle wouldn't go down, like it wouldn't click. So that like, that button that you press to like, um, to get the handle off the umbrella like broke, it was kind of stuck. And my dad fixed it and it's like better than, um, it's better than when I bought it. <laughs> and I bought it for a dollar at an estate sale. And it's such a beautiful umbrella. It's like a green umbrella with like florals on it. And it's very abstract florals and I love it. But I was like, man, I have to like throw that away. But you know, my dad is such, is, he's so good at like fixing things. So I want him to be able to come over, you know, five minutes tops, um, just swing by to look at the microwave or the refrigerator leaking or whatever that needs to be fixed. Um, I want my mom to come by so that she can like, um, we can cook together or she can cook <laughs> or she can like bring me food, hopefully. Um, I know I need to like not depend on my parents so much, but also like I want to be able to come by and like hang out and play piano and things like that, you know? <laughs> All right, cheers. And so, um, I've been looking for a home, like, it's like 10, 15 minutes, like freeway distance from my parents' house, but going east from my parents' house, there's a lot of traffic, um, pretty much like during the rush hour period. So around like 2 to 8 p.m. <laughs> there's traffic. Um, there's most, there's the most traffic around like 5 to 6 p.m., like 4 to 5. And that's because like most people work in downtown LA and the more east you go, um, the longer your, your commute is. And so, yeah, the home that we passed up on was like 10 minutes freeway distance and it was like 15 minutes local but even 15 minutes just seems like a very long time like I remember um, when I lived in Champaign-Urbana um, his parents my ex's parents lived like 15 minutes from our home um, and it was kind of a hassle to like visit Whereas like his brother lived like five minutes and it was like really easy to like come by and fix his TV or whatever. And so I was like thinking about that and we see his brother like every week, sometimes more than once a week. And we really don't really see his parents that often. And so it's just kind of a big difference, you know. Um, I have a friend who lives like 45 minutes away from where I live and um, I think she visits her parents like once a week maybe or once every other week but um, yeah I want to be able to visit like every couple days <laughs> we'll see um, who knows at this point um, so I've been waitressing at my parents restaurant and there's good things and bad things about that the good thing is that I get to talk to people um, since I work from home I don't really get to talk to many people but I do um, have lunch with my parents most days of the week and um, when I when I waitress I get to talk to people but I don't really get into like deep conversations with people like I just ask them like what they want to eat and things like that um, but yesterday there was an old couple and they were like so cute 
I was like kind of like tearing up a little bit. I'm getting like really emotional. But I was, um, I was like asking them how many years they've been married. And they've been married for 61 years. Like, that was so cute. It was funny because like he's like, yeah, 63, 65 years. And she like corrected him like, no, it's 61 years. And so, um, yeah, that doesn't change. But, um, yeah, that was just really, really adorable. And I was like, I was thinking about that and how I want to grow up, grow old with someone. Um, and, yeah, I mean, 61 years just, I don't think will happen because, you know, I'm already in my 30s. But, who knows? Let's finish this cup of coffee. Cheers. Something that's gonna come up in the near future is some thrift store finds. And one sneak peek is I've got, I found two Willie Nelson CDs. And yeah, I'm obsessed at this point. I'm obsessed. I rotate through them in my car and they have made my car ride so enjoyable. Um, I love the songs like Crazy or Touch Me. They're very similar, like this, the type of song. The melody, I guess. Um, I also love Always On My Mind. That's such a like heartbreaking song. Um, I think like it resonates with me because um, the the lyrics talk about like how he should have done some more things or maybe he didn't do certain things during the relationship, which is why it didn't work out. And so, yeah, it just reminds me of my past relationship and. I also love Poncho and Lefty. <laughs> There's a little like solo bit with like some instrument and it's just, it's so heavenly. It's not a guitar, but it's so good. And um, my stomach is making a lot of noise. I don't know why, because I'm not even hungry. Um, yeah, really Nelson is so good. and. Trust me, if, if you told me like 20 years ago that I would love country, and I don't really love all country, I just like Willie Nelson, like, I would think you're crazy. <laughs> when I was younger, I liked the, the worst type of music, which is like rap and hip hop. <laughs> like, I don't know why I like that. Um, I mean, I still do sometimes. But like, now I listen to like classical music and ASMR, I follow a lot of ASMR channels, um, and I follow like ASMR or Mads ASMR, Mellow Mads ASMR, or Mellow Maddie ASMR, and I just, I love ASMR. Um, I also listen to like Oh, Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey is my like go-to karaoke. Um, yeah, I, I love Lana Del Rey. I've been obsessed with her for seven years now, and she's been my main person or my my main artist to listen to. My favorite songs are Gods and Monsters. Um, God knows I tried. Religion is also really good. West Coast. Um, <laughs> yeah, Salvatore. Salvatore. There's so many good songs that I cannot think of right now. Um, but a lot of our songs are very similar, but they're all very good.
and enjoyed this random rambling video. <laughs>